Hello there everybody and welcome to brand new let's play of Unforgiving a Northern Hymn. Now this is a recently released horror game came out on Steam um, a couple of weeks ago two three weeks back something like that and I was kind of interested in it because I didn't realize that it was coming out when it did. I played the demo for this like months back well like way earlier on in the year um, <clears throat> and it was kind of one of those things that I sort of I played it was really interesting I considered doing like maybe I should do it like a let's play on this or something like that like just a sort of a one-off video but I had other things going on at the time and sort of things were very busy and like by the time it actually like got free enough I was like I felt the time for this had passed so but I, I did play the demo it's very interesting it's nice to see uh, a game that like takes a different sort of angle on the horror because you see a lot of western horror you see a lot of japanese horror but it's very rare you see horror games that are based on other mythologies like for instance this is based on swedish mythology so you know kind of it's going to have touches that you'll recognize from like standard westernized horror like you know english horror or american horror which are kind of one the same um but i'm hoping it's different now i, I should warn you i found out partly because the game has told me and partly because i've been looking around online this game gets pretty brutal and pretty dark so i will warn you now oh ye of the weak knees be warned i don't censor my videos you know because i believe that you are adults who can make an informed choice i also believe that youtube censor thing is kind of broken they really, really need to update that. But that's neither here nor there. Anyway, let, let's let's get into the game. Because I'm standing here on the menu screen. And it's all boring. And <clears throat> Let's see what we got. I mean, I, I don't really know, like, uh, much about it. Oh, this is a different intro. Hello, Lucas. Oh, it's Lucas. Hi. Yes, hi. Oh, oh, God. Uh, oh, okay. Good distance from town. Half an hour from the cabin, maybe. Oh, okay. So I'm... Um, um, He's kidnapped me. That was an unexpected start. You can rest easy. So I can't. I can't interact with anything. So, yeah, so, so how do you think it went? She put up a bit of a fight, but yeah, I got her. God, I really have been kidnapped. I wondered if maybe I was just into some kinky stuff. So I take her there. Yeah, well, yeah. I don't actually care what he has to say about this. I, I have no idea but something has to be done about this. Like I said, something has to be done about this. You can't go on this way. Yeah, you're damn fucking right I can. Well, someone has to do something. It's not like you're doing anything about it. it, it it'll work. Or everything I need. Oh, hey, I, what? Can I hit him? Yeah, 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 I did. I did. I thought about that. Input extra diesel for the generator, just in case. Been planning this for a while now. It'll be all right. We'll see. Oh, oh, oh! I, I didn't do that. That was automatic. <laughs> I wanted to listen to his conversation, or at least wait until he hung up. Oh, interesting. So, I've been kidnapped by someone? I don't know, it seemed to imply that he knew me and seemed to think he was doing this for my own good, maybe? Like, there's something wrong with me, perhaps? Hello. Oh. Hello. We're alive. Oh, no, we're unconscious again. Never mind. <laughs> Where the fuck did you go? You're okay. Doesn't look like there's any English speaking this. What the hell? What the fuck did you do that for? You crashed my car. I mean... Me, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> so we got Lucas and we got Lynn. We're on our way to the cabin. You wouldn't have come if you knew what was going there. Du, du är helt seriös. 
Ja, jag har ett problem. Du är mitt problem. Det här är mitt problem. Att vara fast i en skog. Stuck in the woods in the middle of nowhere. Idiot till brorsan. Oh, they're oh, they're brother and sister. Du och din jävla hjälp kan ta dra åt helvete, Lukas. Doesn't matter now. Ooh, interesting. So we got brother and sister. I'm the sister. And apparently I have a problem and he was trying to help. <coughs> interesting. I mean, that was... V ooh, oh, oh, we're in. Oh, that camera sensitivity might need tweaking. Uh, I can live with this. This isn't too bad. I don't... Actually, was there even an option for camera sensitivity? I don't remember that. I can live with this. It's the last fucking time I have with anything selfish. I, I did not do it. She did it off entirely off her own back. Well, that was different. So we're lost in the woods. This is gonna go well. So yeah, like I was saying, it's based on um, Swedish. Myth no shit, it's dark. It's the middle of the fucking night, and you're out in the woods, you pillock. Yeah, it's based on Swedish mythology, which is like, uh, where are you going now? Oh, okay, we're off. Um, which is obviously it's gonna be like it's gonna be slightly similar to Western things because it's like you know part of Europe. Which all has the same, but it's it's like I remember. Um, oh, I'm so sorry. Let me stroke your bald head. Oh, I'm an addict. Oh, interesting. Because you have to find a way out of the forest. Yeah, well, that would be a good start. There's monsters in here. Okay, can we go now? Can 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 I can I talk to the camera again? Guess not. I was reminded of the camp at Galcon near the lake. Orkin. I still have nightmares about the ghost walk. <laughs> so yeah, I was um. Oh. Uh, I was I was gonna say I remember playing this game back on the Wii. Oh. Nope. Do you have an idea? Okay, yes, I'll help you push. I remember I played this game on the Wii. Um, it wasn't really a very good game. I can't say I'd recommend it. Uh, but it's called The Cursed Mountain, I think it was. And it was interesting because rather than dealing with, like, you know, English horror or you know, Western horror or Japanese horror, which most horror games these days tend to focus on, um, it was actually based on Buddhist mythology. And it was really interesting to see all these different creatures from, like, you know, f from creatures you haven't seen before. Because... Hi! Who the fuck are you? What? You, you, you just, there's a woman up there. We're not gonna... Okay, fine, okay. Let's, let's, let's not bother with that then, I guess. Slightly creepy. <laughs> But it, and it was interesting to see, you know, it's always nice to see a different take on horror. I mean, that's one of the reasons why Japanese horror is always so um, successful, in a way. Because it has different horror beats. I've talked about this before on previous videos, but Japanese horror has different horror beats to American horror. Like, I can't remember. I, it, I, I read an article about it a long time ago, so I don't really remember. Oh, oh dear, the music is queuing up. All those camps you know. So, yeah, um, American horror and Japanese horror have different like beat settings. Like I think it's Japanese horror has like beat jump scare, whereas American horror is beat beat jump scare, or, or it, or it might be the other way around. I can't remember. Like it was a long freaking time ago. I saw this article, but it was one of those things that cued me in that horror doesn't have to be what you think it has to be. Horror can be anything. And when you go around and look at all these other different um, types, ooh. Whoa, okay. Oh, yeah, I was. I was what? All right. I don't know what I picked up, but there's some sort of doll there. I, I missed that. Hey, hey, wait up. Don't leave me in the dark. What kind of brother are you? Honest to God. Ooh, okay. And, yeah, so I, I like learning about. 
apply. I like learning about horror from like different cultures and stuff. Like I said, The Curse Mountain, it's not a good horror game. It's a very bad Resident Evil 4 clone. I mean, when I picked it up, I was hoping it would be a, a bit like the Fatal Frame series, or Project Zero as we call it over here. Um, which I'm a huge fan of that series. And I'm really, uh, I was really hoping it would be a bit like that. And it kind of was in its like tone and its style, but in terms of gameplay, you basically had this sort of special talisman thing that you could basically use to shoot the ghosts that you were fighting against. So it basically turned it into like a really, really bad Resident Evil 4 clone. Yeah, I'll be happy to get out of these woods. It's creepy here. I mean, tall trees. I can't even remember the last time I went into woods. I mean, I live in England. We don't really have big woods like this. I mean, we have small woods. We don't really have big woods like this. Is that a person? No, it's a pile of rocks. I think. Yeah, it's a pile of rocks. Yeah, it hasn't moved yet. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to vanish at one point when I stopped looking at it. I was like, see, that might have been creepy. That would have put me on edge. You know, something that's there one second and then gone the next. Well, thank you for joining me at Walking in the Woods with my brother simulator. I'm waiting for something to happen. See, again, this is the thing. Like, nothing is happening... The music is picking up now. Um, and nothing. See, again, this is the thing. This is about the, the beats of horror. Like, we, you're almost expecting something then because the music was going up, but then nothing happened. Gee, thanks. What the? Oh! Yeah, rub it all over yourself. That's good. Ew. Well, let's don't hang around here then. Let's go. You're an idiot. Let's go. Hey. Well, that was fun. I like how you started going and then he said, oh shit. I almost laughed at that because that's like something you do to your friends. It's like, oh no, go on, I'll be fine. Oh no, wait. Just as they go to do it, just to fuck with them. Or maybe that's just me and my friends. Um, oh look, it's another one of those things. Hello. Did you used to be a person? You look vaguely humanoid. Whoa, what the? See, this was one of the things in the demo. I, I'm not going to talk about the demo too much, but there was this implication that there were certain things you were walking around that used to be human, but now weren't. Uh, I'm not going to talk about the demo. If you haven't played the demo, it's probably still available. Maybe. I think it was up on, on Game Jolt. If you just Google search for, you know, Unforgiving and Northern Him demo, you'll probably find it. Uh, it was fun, you know, it, it was about half hour long, you got some decent gameplay, you had to make a really bad decision halfway through. Um, so I am curious how all that is going to translate into the full game. Like, you know, considering the title of the game is Unforgiven, presumably we're going to be doing something pretty friggin' bad at some point. So I don't know. No, look, we can go up that way. Yes, the tree. So many trees, so little time. I will say, they have got the atmosphere absolutely perfect. Can we push? Push. And heave ho. I'll go first. Oh no. I saw that coming right before it happened. Hey! Well, that, that was bound to happen eventually. Like, you know, in horror, it's always more horrible if you are alone. Horrible? Is that the word I'm looking for? Probably not. Ooh, nice. 
Of course, I've just come off of Leith or Leathe or wherever the fuck it's pronounced. So I'm, I am wondering how this game's going to stack up in comparison. Because um, Leith was good fun. You know, it, it had its issues. But uh, it was fine, and I, I certainly enjoyed my time with it. Looking forward to the sequel. Yeah, big fucking rock. I will go off alone. I'm going out for a walk. I may be some time. Good luck. Yay, good luck. Okay. I'm going to test my running ability because I'm wondering if... Do I get tired? Or do I not? Uh, it doesn't look like I'm getting tired. Oh, good. It's good. I have infinite run juice. That's nice. Yep. Left shift to run. Good, 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 good. I like a game that doesn't slow me down if I sprint too much. No swamp. Cool. Okay, okay, okay. I would say, it's been good, you know, this has been nice, it's quiet, it's building an atmosphere, there's a glowing green thing over there for some reason. I'm not going near that, I'm not stupid enough to do anything weird on that, maybe? Are they fireflies? Hello, can I grab you, are you interactable? No, I guess not. You're just a weird glowing little orb, that's nice. Well, okay. Do they have crocodiles in Sweden? Or should I be worried about something else? I don't know. Whoa, shit, what the fuck is that? I may need to adjust the uh, turning radius on this thing. I will check between episodes. We've only got a couple of minutes left. There's a light over here. Question mark. Can't interact with it at all. Whoop, okay. Um. Nope. Oh, okay then. So, presumably. Hmm, I don't know. Oh, XO. XOX. I don't know. I'll come back to that later. It looks like a little puzzle. What the hell was that thing behind me? It was just like... Just something that was black. It was just a thing, and I don't know what it was. It was bloody creepy. It made a weird-ass noise, I'll tell you that much. We've got that over there. Some sort of cable car? Right, okay, so we need to turn the power on. Oh, it's oh, it's connected to the car. Can we interact with the car? Nope. Okay. I guess we gotta go into the creepy area surrounded by boards for some reason. Former lumber mill of some kind, perhaps? Hmm, gee, I wonder if there's something in here. Got a bed. God, it's really dark. Ah. Mmm, tasty. Doll, that's nice. Um, okay. Oh, hey, fuse. Cards. Yep, uh, what's this? I literally have no idea what that is. There's a book. The Holy Duty. Can't read them. Oh, hey. Now that's the saving symbol. You may have noticed it in the bottom corner of the screen. Divine Sacrifice. The Sacral Rules. Hmm. Sacral? You don't mean sacred, do you? Well, we've got the thing in Majiggy. What that does, I've no idea. Okay, so let's... Whoa. Okay. 
that's a thing. Is he actually wandering around here now, or is he gone? He's gone. That's probably for the best. Okay, we've got the fuse. Let's plug it into the thing and see what happens. Great. Um, I don't... Okay, so that... Nope, okay, that. Um, let's try that. Nope, okay. Um, let's try that. Nope, there it goes. Woohoo! Oh, the thing's over there. Sure, I saw it. Yeah, look there. You can kind of see the mist. Um... I'm also out of time for this episode. Uh, okay. Oh no, there he goes. He's wandering off. I'm trying to work out. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Now it's going back. Hello. Can I, like, lead you over? Oh, God. I think he's coming in my direction. Okay, time to go. Pull the lever. Whoa. Hi. Bye. The fuck is that? That's cool. Look, look how he's made of bugs. That's nice. And we're going to have a relaxing boat ride. But. Oh, no. Oh, wait. What? It doesn't pause the game? Oh, God. I can pause it, but it doesn't actually pause the game. Oh, okay. Well, I, I guess we'll just continue on until the ride is finished. If I'd have known that, I'd have stopped it a minute ago, before I tried to get onto the thing. It, yeah, it doesn't look. It doesn't pause the game. That's annoying. What the hell is that? What the hell? Okay. The naked person playing some kind of violin. That's that's different. Points for that, I suppose. Oh, 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 we're fading to black. We're fading to black. We're fading to black. I think we're loading. I think we're loading, guys. I'll assume. Oh, no. Hang on. No, we're alive. We are alive again. Oh, God. Wow. Sorry that this episode's gone on slightly longer than planned. I honestly was expecting to be able to pause the game. Don't know how much longer this ride is going to go on for. But we'll get there. It'll be fine. I'm not in a rush. So, so that black creature, that was different. Never seen anything like that before. And again, see, this is the point. This is why I like playing horror games from different cultures because it, it introduces you to things you've never seen before because you've never seen them they're even more terrifying here we go oh good we've arrived safe and sound let's just stare up at the beautiful moon no let's not anyway so this is it for now i'm totally over time thanks to that ride uh it, for, can't pause the game that's weird um i don't know i'll look into that maybe there is some way to actually pause it and i just wasn't doing it properly so, thank you all for watching, everybody. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, all the usual good stuff, and I will see you in the next part, guys.